rock and walls reduction. Going to be talking about some sharpening for different types of uh, tools you may have around. We uh, use the uh, carbide chisels along with some of the carbide hammers and uh, it's really important to get those uh, sharpened from time to time and keep your points uh, accurate. I picked up a sharpening system from Trout and Holden. They make a few different versions. They make one that's for uh, a drill system and then one that's for basically a die grinder. Now uh, what's really nice is this is a little bit easier to handle. Uh, this mechanism right here just screws right on and then you have a Velcro system couple different pads, uh, actually two pads. This is the finishing pad which is uh, a 220 grit and then this is the 120 which is really for getting things where you need to be. Really important to use these on the carbides. It's really difficult to sharpen uh, carbides um, with just about you know standard grinder unless you have some way to control your speeds. And that's the nice thing is with the Bosch system. Uh, this actually is one of the uh, harder to find, but this actually has controls to dial in your speeds right at the back here. Now, something I was kind of surprised when I was at my uh, shop, I found a polishing wheel that I had here from uh, Harbor Freight. And what was really nice with this is that it's actually the same setup as the die grinder, and I also have my adjustments right here so I can uh, control that very easily as I'm working. So one of the things with the carbide chisels themselves basically the biggest problem is that the carbides do get sharp they kind of get dull and uh, you can kind of see with this one right here my point has become a little rounded so I really need to get that back to a a little bit sharper edge and then it's important to keep your edges on the sides almost like at a 45 or you just keep them kind of rounded off so you don't do any damage to the carbide and cause that to break. So once again quick recap diamond wheel system from Trout and Holden in Vermont Harbor Freight very inexpensive polishing uh, buffer with the adjustments that's the way I would go uh, the Bosch is really great if you need a die grinder around with the variable speeds. You're, you're only going to find this on the internet. So starting out here. So I'm going to kind of come into this basically just working with the same edge that's already there. And because I use this chisel quite often you can see I'm already starting to get it nice and sharp there, working it that get that point back on the top. But uh, sometimes the middles get a little bit of a low spot. Flip that around. So I basically have a pretty decent edge now. I don't want to make it too too pointy otherwise it could ruin the actual edge itself just do a little bit from time to time it's important to keep that maintained now I'm going to go in and just basically take my corners here and just soften them down so that the carbide doesn't break when I'm using it and I'm actually using the 220 the finishing one's not bad when you're just doing some touch up so I'm going to come in on an angle Now what's really nice since these are Velcro, you do want to come in with the finishing 220, put that on. And that does it. Nice sharpened edge on your carbide chisel. Corners rounded off. Ready to go back to work.